action. Catholic Mission asked young people from around the world to help them make a television commercial. The commercial was played across Australia. Action. The filming began in a refugee camp in Thailand, then in a classroom in South Africa, then in a mother and child health clinic in Brazil. Finally, some young Aussies were filmed. No worries. And when it was all put together, it looked like this. Look how far your 50 cents can go. All the way to Asia, giving children shelter and food. All the way to Africa, building schools and a better future. To South America, helping children grow strong and healthy. Thank you, Australia. Thank you, Australia. No worries. It's amazing how far your 50 cents will go. Please, give now to Children's Mission Partners. All these kids were on a mission to tell their story and to help each other. The money raised helps Catholic Mission care for children in more than 160 countries. There are lots of children and young adults everywhere with their own special missions. Not all of them get to make TV ads, but they're doing other great work. Let's have a look. In South Africa, there is a settlement called Deep Valley. The thousands of people here are extremely poor. There's no sewerage. Most of the homes are shacks. Lots of people can't find work. And there's no fresh tap water. The water is trucked in and collected in buckets. Everyone tries to stay hopeful, but it's hard. And if they get sick, there's no local hospital. And that's hard on everyone, especially the kids. This is Father Abel, the parish priest. Catholic Mission provides funds to help Father Abel change things for the better. Today, Father Abel is saying Mass. The community's church is a simple tin shed, and the altar is a wooden board resting on milk crates. Father Abel wants to build a community centre here, which will be a church and a hall for the people. Israel is 19 years old and has volunteered to run the choir. The singing is fantastic. Israel also runs the youth group. When the community centre is built, they will have a place to meet and learn things like computer skills, cooking, sewing and even healthcare so they can look after many of the sick people in the settlement. Israel is doing great work. The community's music, celebration and faith give the thousands of people living in Deep Valley hope that together they can build a better future. On the other side of the world, in Brazil, there is a town called Belo Horizonte, which means beautiful horizon. This is where Daniela lives. Daniela works to save the lives of young mothers and babies in poor villages. We asked Daniela how she first got involved in this work. I had my first baby when I was 16, and my little boy was malnourished and very sick. I thought he was going to die. That's when this group, Care for Children, helped me. They taught me how to prepare nourishing food. And now my boy is three years of age and strong and healthy. Daniela was so impressed with Care for Children, she became one of their volunteers. Today, she and her friend Melissa are visiting a young mother who is expecting her third baby. They offer the mother help with food and make sure she can get to a doctor when she needs to.
when you're as poor as this family. Knowing that someone cares for you really means a lot. And the kids always welcome the Care for Children volunteers. When the bishops of Brazil set up Care for Children 20 years ago, it had just 15 members. Now it has 150,000 volunteers and has been nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. One of my biggest joys is the way I'm welcomed when I visit the families. They usually don't call us by our names, but more often say care for children. And it's our job, our mission, to bring hope to these people and to try to improve their quality of life. And we know we can make a difference. The results of the Care for Children program have been staggering. In the areas where it operates, it's reduced baby deaths to less than a quarter of what they used to be. It's cut malnutrition by half. Daniela and Care for Children are making a world of difference. Now, let's meet Chris, right here in Australia. Chris's ancestors have been in Australia for tens of thousands of years. His people have seen more than 40,000 years of life in Australia. From the mountains to the desert, from one side of the continent to the other. land to our people, Aboriginal people. It's priceless. As you can see behind me and all over Australia, the land is very, very special for our people. It gives our people everything. We believe that the land is our mother, Mother Earth. We all may not be blood brothers and sisters, but through the land, our mother, we are connected. And that's why it's very important that we do look after the land, because see, to some people, a tree's just a tree, a rock's just a rock. But see, to our people, Aboriginal people, it does mean a lot more. Chris works with Jarara, an Aboriginal education unit. The unit was set up by the Catholic Education Office in the Parramatta Diocese in Western Sydney. Chris's job is to work with young people, in and out of school, to help them with their studies and with life. So meeting up as a he also volunteers his time to help plan youth camps for young Aboriginal students, like at this meeting at the Aboriginal Catholic Ministry at Penrith. Chris believes everyone is special and that everyone has his or her own voice and own journey. Everybody is different and it's up to you to find out how special you are. And it's very, very important for all of us younger ones to get out there. Chris spends some of his time helping young Aboriginal students with reading and maths. But he also loves sharing his culture, dance, art and storytelling. Here at St Joseph's Primary School, the principal thinks Chris's contribution is really important. He not only here for the Aboriginal kids, he's working really, really well to bridge the gap between the Indigenous and non-Indigenous community and doing it in such a fun and, and inviting and inclusive sort of way. He walks the talk and, and all those sorts of things of young people. And so what he's really saying is uh, to all children, hey, it's great to be uh, of Aboriginal descent. There is richness in our culture. It's Chris being Chris and Chris being an Aboriginal uh, young man, which makes the world a difference. Chris learned a lot of his skills from his dad, who also shares his culture and art in schools and communities. Chris's dad has lived an amazing life, but sadly, parts of his childhood were very upsetting for him. When he was just a small boy, his mother died and he was taken away from his father and his family. Uh, but I also remember being take, taken away 
by welfare and placed in a home. And um, I think that ripped uh, my father apart. Look, I remember a nun, sister, uh, that was part of the home that came down and saw me and said, uh, told me the news that my father had passed away. Um, then she left. I had nobody there uh, after that. I didn't tell anybody, I didn't tell any of the sisters in the hospital. All I remember just looking out this window and listening to the waves crash onto the beach, uh, tears rolling down my, my cheeks. Like I say to a lot of, a lot of people, not only my children, that we all go through a lot of hurt and uh, we, we must heal, heal that hurt. I know what has happened in the past, none of us has asked for it, but again it's up to us to show how strong we are and make the future better. And my dad taught me that again the future is the younger ones and uh, let them grow up in togetherness and show them the important things of life. Again, not the important things as in um, who can own the most money, who can have the best car, but the other important things like your family and what dwells upon Mother Earth. See, it is easy and it is hard to play the didgeridoo. The first time I played the didgeridoo, I was only five years old and I wanted to play the didgeridoo. So again, I had to practice every single day. But there was days there that I wanted to just give up. Who's got some room for me down this way? Yeah, yep, there's mine right here. Right here. Chris is helping to heal the hurts of the past. His positive attitude and his rich culture are things he's happy to share with everyone. Now it's our turn to build a better future, just like Chris and Israel and Daniela. What will you do 